Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. Today in this video, we're going to learn how to use the extend report in our Selenium PDD framework. So we have used this Cucumber default reporter that is the that like a simple HTML file which will give us the screenshot. Um, that is fine, but still most of the time, most of the project prefers the extend report. Of course, the uh, UI of the extent report is uh, neat and clean and it looks really awesome. Okay, so we are going to learn that and it's going to be a very simple thing. It's just a configuration. We don't have to write any code here. Okay, so here we have something like extent report adapter. Okay, there are two types of extent report. One is the extent report. Basically, we have to write the code to generate uh, reports step by step, or else if you are using test ng, we have the test ng. Um, listeners with that it is also similar to adapter we can use that for bdd also we have something like uh, adapter uh, which basically like configurable just we have to add the configuration and it will do all the reporting part of its own okay so it's going to be very simple and there are a lot of changes in the extent report um so currently we are learning the cucumber with the version called 4.2.2 like major version is 4 so here also you can see the adapter whatever we are using is 4 if you go to the maven repository here also you can see like extend reports cucumber 4 adapter if you are using like 5 6 or the latest 7 then you have to use the respective uh, adapter and also the extend report version okay so in our case we are going to use the version called 1.2.1 which is latest in the fourth version so here you can see like 1.2.1 okay and then we are going to use the extend report of version 5 it is this version is not compatible with the extend uh, report of uh, 4 i guess i don't know whether we have that uh, if you go to the yeah this cucumber 3 is not working and um okay so basically we are going to use the 5 and 1.2.1 .1. okay so i will just leave the link in the description or you can check out the code from github and you can just use this okay i'm going to copy that and i'm going to add in my palm.xml first so let's add this and control save it will do the download already i have so it should be really quick or else it will take few minutes based on your network okay so dependency got added if you want to check you can go to this maven dependency and here you will see something like number html is there uh, but it should be here extent report 5 and the extent report adapter which is 1.2.1 and it supports the cucumber 4 okay so that's it very simple thing first step is done first step basically we have to add the dependency second thing second step we have to do the configuration so for that within the src test resource we are going to create one file okay so right click new and go to file we are going to create a property file and the property file name should be like extend dot properties based on this extend report will understand like it has to fetch this properties okay so don't give any other thing it might not work so make sure you are going to give this and it should be within the src test resource folder and within this we have to give three configuration um one is basically like in extend report we have lot of reporting type like we have like uh, emailable report we have log base uh, club and event i guess but here we are going to use the spark because spark is the free version others are you have to pay okay so spark is the free one so here we have to say like extend.report.spark.start you don't have to remember all this just copy paste that's it it's a very simple thing or else you can go to the documentation so if you click on here in the example not here uh here i guess yeah so here you can see like extend dot properties you have to create a file and then we have to give like extend dot reporter followed by the name dot start and config and out out is nothing but the where we have to we want to store our reporters and config is like this configuration we have to add we'll do that in a moment and basically we are starting this reporter okay so here you can see like we have like event bdd cards email logger tabler v3 so we have a lot of reporters but uh, spark is the uh, free one 
so he, here you can see like we have a lot of configurations let's not worry about this this three line will do the magic apart from this of course we want to handle these screenshots so for that we have another two configuration which is this one so we are just saying like this is where our screenshot should be test output folder and we are just using the relative part path to get the screenshot okay uh, that's it very simple thing now we have to add one more configuration file so if you go here you can see like we have something like spark.config.xml already i have this i'm just going to copy it from my desktop and i will paste within the project so click on your project name Control v and here you can select spark.config.xml what we have within this is very simple thing is a xml file where we are saying like the theme of the extent report so we have two options one is the standard which is white color and dark dark color i mean black and encoding HTTPs, all this is not required if you want to generate the report in offline you have to give it like true or else by default it will be false and same here also oh, sorry this is the offline mode and this is something related to the time which i'm not sure and here we have like thumbnail if you want to generate like base 64 image you can give it true but this doesn't work actually i checked maybe it is restricted in the free version and the document title you can give your project name and here you can give any name to your reports and then some configuration related to the time and how to load the data which we don't have to touch that's it very simple thing we are pretty much done with the configuration now one more configuration we have to do go to your runner file and within the runner file we have to add something plugin so i'm going to comment this three lines because uh, we are not going to use the cucumber default report now we are going to use the um what we call that this guy extent report just forgot the name okay that's it we have to add this line what is this this is basically configure which will understand by extent report so we don't have to touch anything and where and it ends with the semicolon that is how it looks even if you see the documentation it's going to be same uh, so don't touch anything just give as as it is that's it pretty much done okay now we are going to run all the tests let's see what happens i'm going to right click run us before that i'm going to um right click and refresh and i'm going to delete the test report and cucumber reports folder okay so it will generate once again okay so folders got deleted now let's go and run this it's going to execute all the test and let's see okay so all the test passed there is no failure no skip okay now let's go to our project folder so in system explorer and within that we have something like test output and within that we have a folder called spark and within that you can see we got this index.html file let's open that and here you can see the beautiful reporter okay so document title book card test report that is what we have given here so book card test report and then we have like bdd test which is coming here okay and then we have some timestamp and this is like test id let's not worry about this so both the feature file has the same name like book cart application test uh, so if i go to my feature file so here also you can select book, book cart application test and if i go to the login same feature file that's why we got like only one test but within that of course the scenarios are different so one is like add to cart with three test data okay so if i go to this add to cart here you can see like we have like three feature scenarios and if i click on that you can see like um, what has uh, the steps okay and if i go to the login success here you can see like we have this and this okay so that's a very simple thing now uh, we didn't get screenshot because of our configuration i guess let's go to the hooks file and within the hooks file um okay if there's any failure then only we are taking the screenshot which is pretty good okay so you don't you really don't have to take screenshot for all the steps which is unnecessary because this reporter right if you want to send this reporter you have to email this then uh, you have to also uh, send along with this screenshot so 
uh where is the screenshot actually okay the screenshot is not generated because we didn't get anything okay so i'm going to fail the test uh let's see what happens okay so let's go to any of our feature file and here i'm going to give like one two three four five six seven eight okay so so the test data is wrong so what will happen test will eventually get failed right let's go to the runner file and let's see what happens so this is the test failure we um, given the password as wrong so test execution will get stopped after 10 seconds not 10 seconds yeah 10 seconds because we have the implicitly wait okay so here you can select we have uh, one failure now and the failure is basically we have like no such element so here you can select our test suite got failed because there is one failure if there is any failure the entire test suite will obviously get failed so that is what happened here and here you can see like pass pass but here we have like fail and failures like login should be success since we have passed the wrong test data of course we know it will be failure so if i go and click on the screenshot you can see like we got this one and this screenshot is basically not embedded that means like if you see the src it is like it's showing the file uh, location embed means it will be like kind of characters embed means it will just uh, attach the screenshot to the reporter to the indexed file indexed html file itself um so that like it will be like only one file when we share the html file we don't have to attach any of the resource file but when we have screenshot like this in separate folder for example if i go to uh, yeah within the test output folder uh, we have something like embed.1.png okay so this is the file so like we have to attach this file and share or else if we send to only the index.html file it will not show the uh, image file okay so that one thing but here we have the configuration unfortunately not sure why it's not working maybe yeah so this is how your extent report works and it's really uh, good awesome to see at least the ui and it's very useful as well okay so that's it uh, if you have any queries feel free to ask in the comments one thing you have to remember based on the cook cucumber version you have to use the adapter so in my case the major version is 4 so i am using the cucumber version of 5 and the adapter version is 4 if you are using cucumber 5 6 or 7 then you have to use like cucumber 5 6 7 adapter and action extend version reporter also might get change okay so uh, that's it just quick recap we have to add this configured spark.config.xml here you can play with this just change the values and you will see the reporter in different things okay and apart from that also um okay let me change this to dark and show you the output so if i open the reporter now you can see like it is going to be uh, in dark color and in this reporter we have some details like of course you know like this is your number of tests if you have number of feature files with the different feature names it will be shown here and then this is the, your test reporter this is like your static data and here if there is any failure we'll get the error message you can double click to check the error message you can click on this screenshot to view it apart from that also we have something like uh, this bugs like here it will show you like what are the test failure you can click and you can go to that particular test okay and then here we have tag so we have executed the regression and the smoke so we are getting uh, both the tags here and this is our like static statistic so if you have any uh pass fail so here you can select five steps pass and there is one failure so we will get this graph so all this uh, features are missing in the cucumber default reported so in the extent report we will get this and this does not append so whenever we run our test basically it will just regenerate and to add the screenshot we don't have to do anything basically the same hooks concept the scenario dot embed uh, if you are using version like 5 6 or 7 i guess so there will be like you won't see the embed function you will see something like attach okay so that is the only different i guess yeah so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Ta -da, bye bye see you in the next one very soon